My name's Tara and I like taking drugs. I used to inject heroin and crack um, but I never learned to cook it up so it was my friend who was injecting me with it and um, I did one day and since then I've never injected. Without drugs I was a very insecure and quite horrible individual. When you said you OD'd? Yeah. What's OD? Um, I overdosed on heroin. Overdosed on heroin? Yeah. Oh. What was that like? It was exactly like the scene in Train Spotting. Have you seen Train Spotting? Yes. I thought I like, crawled into the hallway. I thought I'll just lie down here on the floor. And it's like you're sinking back into the floor, you know, and renting goes over. Yeah, it's exactly like that. It's all wonderful. It's an amazing feeling. How old are you? I'm 44. You're 44? Yeah. Okay. I've been doing drugs since I was 13. Between the age of 13? Yeah. yeah. Was you born and raised in this area? <laughs> Um, no, Kilburn, County Kilburn. Okay. Yeah. What sort of drug did you start with? Um, the first drug I ever took was opiated hash, which I would love there to be more of. I think opium is a much better painkiller and a much better drug than heroin and much less addictive and much more natural. And I think opium should be... I, I think there's a huge demand for opium and it's not being satisfied. Everyone's taking heroin instead, which is a lot more dangerous. And um, yeah, I, I used to smoke double zero, which is opiated hash. Or well, what people think is double zero now is um, heroin mixed with hash, and that's not proper double zero. <laughs> so, um, yeah. What's the difference between, between heroin and opiates? Opiates are more natural and you get a more hallucinogenic buzz with opiates yeah. and um, it's a more creative buzz and um, it's safer and less addictive. Laudanum was really popular in Victorian times in this country, that's liquid opium. People used to buy like a test tube full of laudanum and it would cost like what the equivalent is of £10 today. So when did you get onto um, heroin and um, no, I, I didn't even know what crack was when I was 21 okay. and um, then I had a friend, she was a multi-millionaire, well her dad was, and she said try some of this and um, I wasn't paying for it so I was smoking crack every day because she was paying for it, um, yeah. And how was that feeling? Like? You're always chasing your first pipe basically because the first pipe you have is mind blowing and then from then on it's all a bit of a letdown. 30 to 40, I really didn't do any drugs at all. 30 to 40? Yeah. So what was you doing that, during that period? I was serving time for killing a police officer. You killed a police officer? Yeah. So you did 10 years in prison for...? Not prison, I was um, in Chesuam Hospital. Yeah. So how did that happen? Um, he raped me. The police officer raped yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And he honey trapped me. I thought he was my boyfriend. I didn't know he was a police officer until I was in court in the old Bailey. What sentence was you given for that? How many years? I served 15. 15 years. You served 15 years? I served 15 years. From so. the age of? From the age of 30 till just last year, nearly 15 years. I wasn't in prison. I was in a mental home. And the night that you killed him? Um, I, I had really bad concussion because I'd been smashed over the head with a crowbar the previous week um, and I still had concussion from that because he wouldn't let me go to hospital for any treatment and um, then I think he bottled me that night and all I can remember is running out of the flat and he came downstairs going, oh you fucking bitch come here and everyone in the flats heard him say that and that was the last time he was seen alive so um, that's why I had to plead guilty because I was the only person seen on camera going in and out the front door. But people had broken in by the balcony before. You well, smashed mm -hmm. the bottle around your head? Yeah, and um... And you ran out of the house? I ran out of the house, that was the last time he was seen alive. Because apparently I went back again in the morning and they don't know if he was stabbed the night before or stabbed that morning, but he got stabbed. Yeah. Saying, apparently that's what they're saying, I'm saying yeah. what are you saying? I can't remember, I have no recollection of what happened oh, because yeah. I was in severe shock. Yeah, I can't remember anything that happened. Did that help you get off drugs? Um, yeah it did but it was a very miserable time. Because, um, yeah, I, I don't like being without drugs.